Hey everyone. So just got on the scales 94.2, which from the 1st of July is down from 95.6. Um, my weight went up <clears throat> with my taxed adrenals. Yeah, it's been slow coming coming back down, but um I just have to be patient and not be too focused on the fact on like on the scales. Like my real focus needs to be on my health and getting better. Um like and focusing on whole foods if the scale doesn't go down in the next few weeks like i'll start to um figure out what foods are still a bit too rich for me and add you know more vegetables um in place of um maybe fruits and starches or more watery fruits and less bananas not that i eat a ton of them anyway um but also like lipedema makes it hard to lose weight adrenal fatigue makes it hard to lose weight if not it can make you put on weight and I just got my period, so yeah, I'm not expecting, wasn't expecting much this morning from the scales, but the last few days I have been starting to feel a bit better. Um, I'm still up and down with my adrenals, um, but I'm trying to get early nights and getting more sleep. I'm actually trying to start to get like um, more than eight hours. Like if I'm tired when I wake up, then I know I still need to get more sleep. And so I'll go to bed earlier that night and try and expand the amount of um, hours that I'm getting to sleep. I want to be able to wake up and not need the, like before the alarm and wake up naturally before the alarm and not wake up tired. <coughs> um, <coughs> what else was I going to say about that? Oh, my mind's just blank. That's another sign of that adrenal fatigue and probably lipidemia as well. I could just get brain fog. My brain just like stops working. Oh, that could just be a me thing. I don't know. I have been starting to um, feel a bit better though. And I think part of that is also due to the fact that um, with the 13 plus classes of yoga that I teach per week and I physically participate in, um, I'm getting out onto the floor more and, and assisting others more rather than physically doing like, you know, 13 to 15 hours of down dogs and warriors and stuff a week so I think that's helping too I just have to take it easy wherever I can um, but yeah this is a good way for me to track it so thanks for coming along with me I'll see you a bit later so before yoga I'm just going to have a couple of um, oranges cut up can't have a too full stomach when you're doing yoga but um, I'm feeling like I need something before yoga this morning because the class doesn't start till 10.30 and I'm feeling a tad dizzy. So I've got one Karakara and one navel orange in there. And what I'm taking with me is about seven mandarins and I'll show you the size. So I buy everything in boxes. So that's about the size of the mandarin. And there's about seven in there to keep me going till I get back home, which will probably be about one o'clock. I always have like half a litre of water every morning um, and before every meal I drink half a litre of water. I have probably two half litres of peppermint tea a day as well. So I drink, drink plenty of fluids considering that most of my diet is raw. Um, I, another thing that I wanted to say that I think maybe helped to tank my adrenals was that I'd started drinking like Earl Grey and Lady Grey tea. Um, and having like some cacao nibs and, and stuff like that and if you have lipedema or adrenal issues or autoimmune issues it's really important to cut out all stimulants like if you're doing really well like I'm sure once in a while it's not a problem but if you're already if you're taxed in other areas like it's just that extra load so um, yeah I've cut all that out as well um, and hopefully I start getting better, which I am starting to get better, but I just I feel crappy right now. Um, it's very up and down. Yeah, sometimes I feel great, and sometimes I just feel like blah, and I just want to sleep. My eyes get really heavy. Um, mm, it is in the morning as well, so maybe I haven't woken up yet. But hopefully those couple of oranges will just give me a little bit of a... I don't know, get some glucose into my brain, you know, every cell runs on glucose. And the brain definitely runs on sugar, on glucose. 
but it has to be healthy whole food sugars that's the key nothing processed anyway catch you later so I'm back from my morning classes and I stopped at whole food merchants on the way home it's not whole foods like in America it's whole food merchants which is like this huge health food store so let me show you what I got so some Jason toothpaste that's one we use cacao nibs for Rob and they're out of PB powder PB2 peanut butter powder so he's gonna be really disappointed because he put it on the list some balls for Lex because she's chewed all the rest of hers up my favorite slaw Italian fermented slaw like sauerkraut super expensive too and I got some other types of sauerkraut some dill and we've had we've had both of these before they're super good get some kelp noodles I forgot about these they're good I really like them and some dried mango and I had a couple of pieces of that on the way home and a humongous organic sweet potato and of course butternut pumpkin or butternut squash if you're American so yeah I'm still feeling really blah and lightheaded and so I was tossing up whether to take Lex out today but <clears throat> I'm thinking she actually really wants to go out so and it's gonna be raining here for like the next seven days on and off so I probably better get her out the thrills of parenting I tell ya Ah, oh, she's the good girl. Can I throw the ball? Can you leave it? Are you going to leave it? Can you leave it? Flex. Ha 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 ha. Sit back. Nope. Sit. Sit. Stay. No. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Give it. Give. 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 Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. No, no, leave it. Good girl. So that's the look of ball obsession, people. Ball obsession. You got a problem. She's got a problem. Get your head in. Get your head in. It's all gone. It's all gone. Did you have a nice time, Louie? Did you have a nice time? Yes, yeah, she did. We keep on hoping. Maybe there's a world. Did you have a good day? Did 
Did you have a good day? Did you have a nice time out? Did you? Oh, she's a good girl. Want a treat? Good girl. Does Blocky want a treat? Okay, bye. dressing that I put on it at kool -Aid was mango, dates and passion fruit. And I'm off to sit my butt on the couch with a hot water bottle and I'm going to watch some YouTube and then maybe some vampire diaries. And that's what my afternoon's going to consist of. And I might do some work on the computer after that. But I'm pretty tired so I'll just see what happens. Dinner update. I just got home from work for my night yoga classes and prepared my dinner. So let me have a watch up. Hello. So here we have sweet potato and pumpkin, capsicum, cauliflower, and all of that is steamed with the sauerkraut on top. That's the Italian small one. And underneath we've got all of the, um, the lettuce, mixed cucumber, tomatoes, and the balsamic and maple syrup dressing. And that's, that's it. Oh, and there's uh, parsley in there as well. Lots of curly, um, curly leaf parsley that I'm obsessed with at the moment. I'm really craving the curly leaf parsley at the moment. I don't know, uh, there must be something in it that I need. But it tastes really good. It feels like it's cleaning my blood or something. I really like it. So I'm going to go sit down and... I was going to say go sit down and watch dinner. Go sit down and watch some Vampire Diaries. And, and uh, eat my dinner. And that's about it. And then I'll go to bed. Because it's only... Well, it's 9 o'clock. <laughs> so it's a pain in the ass having to eat this late. But... I can't really eat before yoga and like it just doesn't fit in so I've got to eat late but it's all good stuff so hopefully it works anyway I hope you guys have had a great day and have a great evening oh FYI so I was feeling really crap today with my adrenals and I'm actually like before I went to work um, I'm trying to look at this instead of yeah, it's very confusing. Um, uh, yeah, my brain still just stops. I, have, I just have brain farts. But um, I was feeling like pretty bleh today. Um, even before I went to yoga, I was like, mm, a bit better, but not awesome. But then I'm feeling better now. But I might be just high because you know when you... You know when you do activity and exercise and even though I'm doing more assisting now than actually all the whole physical practice, um, I still do a lot of it and I don't know, you kind of get a bit of a high, an endorphin rush, even though it's not like full on exercise, but you always feel good after yoga, one way or the other. Anyway, I'm like tired and babbling, so I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> no, I'm not. Wow. See, your brain just doesn't work. Like this ad adrenal thing, like my brain just like doesn't work. I'm just going go to go eat and go to bed. Fire bad, tree pretty. Anyone who's like a, a Buffy enthusiast will understand that. Anyway, have a great night and I'll see you next time. Bye. Girl, we don't have to run